dinosaurs evolved the same way monkeys did? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 And what they did was they went out to try and fake, fact or fake it. So they faked it and put the video up on YouTube and everybody believed it. Mm-hmm. And that, that sort of, they, they sort of went, oh yes, we are so clever because we did this. I remember Explain like, the millions of other videos and photos and stuff. Don't gloat over one bloody video. See, this is what worries me, right? In 2011, a video came out. I don't know, you've probably seen it. It was meant to be Hawaii, where this big UFO f- came over the top of the trees. Yeah. And it was incredible. Mm-hmm. And then it turned out it was done by a couple of kids, and it was just basically CGI. Mm-hmm. Um, and you see, what's going on? I'm a true believer, right? I, I have no doubt that we're not alone in the universe. And I, I'm pretty sure, in my own belief, that we have been visited at one that there is things in the sky we can't explain and i think what's going to happen is in the modern age of mobile phones and cameras and digital technology something like that's going to happen somebody's going to be standing someday and something's going to come down a couple of feet they're going to video it they're going to put it in youtube and suddenly it's going to be not clearly cga Mm -hmm. that somewhere in all this crap and nonsense there is real stuff out there absolutely but that's the problem. It's lost in yeah. the fake stuff. Yeah. Some of the fake stuff you know straight away. Some of the, the fake stuff you sort of have to look and go, is it? Remember the thing a few weeks ago about the eagle came down and grabbed the child? Yeah. Like, was that, that fake? Was fake? Yeah. That was, was it? by two uh, CGI students that were trying to get into movies. This was their end of term project. Did he take it out the back and slapped? I oh, believe that. It? I believe it. It was amazing. I slowed it down. I watched it frame by frame. It was Perfect. I had visions of all these people going out to start to shoot eagles because they're trying to take children. See, that's why. And then Monster Quest doing a program about I it. I think that's why they needed to debunk it quickly because they were afraid that that was going to happen. But, you know, I watched it and I was like, that is the scariest mm. thing I have ever seen. But no, it was two students, two guys in their late teens, doing, they're doing some sort of uh, computer animation course. And this was their, their year final. It looked, it looked real. It didn't just it look, look real. It was, there was no part of that that did not look real. But this is, you know, this is scary, scary stuff. Mm-hmm. What, what can you look at now and go... Oh, really, there's no limits to what they can't fake these days. Yeah. yeah. If you really want to look at it. Yeah. No, no, absolutely. Because it will not be long, because you've raptors and stuff. Some guy created a raptor video, run a di- oh, real dinosaur scene running across a field. It was that bit out of Jurassic Park. Right. You know, the, the ostrich likes ones, the, the big herd. Yeah. And they're running and they jump behind the tree. Yeah. That's what it was. I thought, that's so cheap. Because yeah. somebody again the fifth that they happened to find one, nobody's going to believe it. I know. Imagine, do, imagine being, imagine filming something like that and going, "You're not going to believe this," and people are ripping you to. Yes, yeah. that'd be terrible. People just going, "No, I don't believe it." No, that's CGI. You and your mates did that. See, before. I'm going to go to Bigfoot country and find Bigfoot, have a conversation with him, photograph him, video him, come back, show it all, and I'll go, "You're liar." Yeah. That's just the be. <laughs> right. Oh, Raging? This I can't wait for. Oh, the, no, you can't wait for. The 10 low points. The 10 weird low points of 2012. All right. The 10 low points of 2012 was demon hiding behind a cushion. A picture was apparently taken in a house in England. I've seen this. Pants. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, complete pants. But I had to look for it. I thought it was the thing in the background. It was actually the plant. Yes. Yeah, it looked like a big st- insect. Yeah, what, I was looking at his ball. What am I looking at here? And he's like, no, no, there. And he goes, look what? under the cushion. It's so faked, but... Yeah. Everybody, for some reason, people believed it. Mm, it's like the taken faces a, and toast thing. Yeah. Some people just need to believe Don't imagine toast. Tell about number one. <laughs> uh, number nine is exorcism hotline created by the Vatican. Right. For all those of you out there who think you're possessed by the devil, please ring this number, 0800 Vatican. Which is mad. Which is, is crazy. But at the same time, fat again, because you've liked the, the exorcism of Ali, Emily Rose and... Those are all based on facts. If you're in that situation, it's a completely different story. Is it just a voice shouting down the phone? Catch yourself on. <laughs> <laughs> Stop watching these movies. I am Satan, but <laughs> shag it. But weird. Who's going to ring it? Would like I would like to see a follow up on that one. See how many phone calls they get in a month. Do you remember? Um, in Ghost, I'm a big Ghostbusters fan, as you know. Uh, do you remember in Ghostbusters? Oh, yeah. There's just a bit where they do the hotline, the phone number yeah. in Ghostbusters. Yeah. Before the movie came out, that was the ad campaign. They ran that ad on TV for I don't know, a couple of months, whatever it was, before the movie actually came out. Just that ad, call Ghostbusters. Apparently, the amount of phone calls that they got for that number for people genuinely thinking they had ghosts and stuff mm. was just you're talking tens of thousands a day. No, Jason Hawes and all were taking them. Yeah. But see, that's the thing. People have these things going on. And again, it's the same as the the fake videos. If something true comes up, it mm-hmm. gets lost in it. Yeah. If you have something experienced in your house and it scares you to that degree, who are you going to call? The DOA. Well, they, they're probably a housing executive. <laughs> but do you know what I mean? Yeah. 
Uh, okay, number six is Will Farrell and the Haunted Trailer. What is this? Do uh, you not read about this now? No. All right. I Will Farrell. So we test up. See, every time I've listened to you in the past, and you all talk about Will Farrell, I go, "Oh, I hate Will Farrell." So do I. Can't stand him. Don't think he's funny. Land of the Lost. Why? But Will Farrell was on the set of Dogfight. This is his new movie. It's coming up. Okay. And he had this trailer, and he s insists this thing was haunted, and they had to go and get him a brand new trailer with the jacuzzi. The rest of my case, but that's not the Charlie Sheen apparently sees dead people, and Lucy Liu's had encounters with ghosts and places she shouldn't have, and it's just a whole flow also of, of celebrity ghost stories, which you could be here all night talking about. Some uh -huh. really funny, but Liberace, uh, Michael Douglas is playing Liberace as far right. as I'm aware, with Damon, Matt Damon, okay, in a new movie of the story of Liberace's life, and they're both come out and said, in all seriousness, they'll swear Liberace's haunting that set. Because there's just too many weird things going on. Okay. This From, reminds me of the three three men and a, and a little lady. Or uh, the ghost. Baby, which was actually a Charlie Chaplin standee sitting in my head. It wasn't a Charlie Chaplin standee. It was. It was not. That wasn't there. Bill, or what do you call him? Ted Danson has come out. Every one of them has come out and said, listen, we know what's been said, but we're telling you, the day we filmed that scene, there was nothing standing behind that car, or that curtain. Not a standee, not a cardboard cutout, nothing. Okay. So rest our case okay I'm Bill or Ted whatever uh, <laughs> okay we just done Charlie Sheen says he can see ghosts uh -huh. amongst other things not been a good year for El Charlie no. so no he walks into people's wake houses and there's dead people walking past him skip on past that one yeah, so. number five has to be the apocalypse yes. that never happened funny the apocalypse was had made my highlights and lowlights yeah the, year. the, the main 21st of December yeah Everybody looking for this planet that's going to come crashing into us. Aye, Libra, no sign of. Aye, still waiting. Big maybe happy. maybe that's what exploded in the sky. Maybe it was. Maybe maybe NASA shot down Libra. There you go. Um, yeah, it it kind of wasn't that. I don't know where everybody's. Like, I don't know where to say it's not the climax or it was just like the weirdest thing everybody's experiences of me. Is people climbed up mountains. Aye, spent the whole fortune. Yeah, on waiting to be up. Lifted up by aliens who were coming just before the neighborhood crashed into us. Yeah, uh, no, it, it, um, yeah. I, I don't think did did you know? I this has been around for a long. I've been a conspiracy theory fan for a long time, and this is you and our jury get on very well. Yes, this has been around for quite a while. The whole Mayans. Now the Mayans never said the world was going to end. Their calendar no. just ended. Um, but all of a sudden, everybody latched on to December twenty first, twenty twelve, was going to be the end of the world, and. While I didn't believe it, on December 22nd, I did kind of go, whew, slightly. But it was, you know, as you say, I don't know if it was an anticlimax or if it was... Because mm. you're kind of like, thank God the world didn't end. But at the same or time, or like, something, really, really, or was something it? exciting happens. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's just like, well, I have Sky Plus Friends and there's still three episodes left. Please don't let the world end now. Yes. I have a new book coming out next year. Don't let that happen. Yeah, I don't want to die yet. Yeah. Do I mean? <laughs> Sell up to four o'clock in the morning, right, miss? Yeah. <laughs> but, <laughs> well, the Liberace I've just talked about. Okay, we've got Daisy the Bigfoot. Yes. Again, another Bigfoot story. Again, another hoax. He says it's a team called Team Quantra. Right who are, are re renowned, questionably renowned in the Bigfoot circles in America, who claimed that they created a pressure plate trap in which they captured a female Bigfoot and was this Bigfoot was sent away to a research facility to be examined from top to bottom so they could come out with definitive evidence that these things exist. Within 24 hours... A statement was released saying that Daisy had been released back into the wild because <laughs> she fell under the category of human rights and it would be a contravention, can't, what is that word, contravention of the Geneva Convention right, okay. if she was kept as a prisoner of war. And I didn't know we had a Bigfoot war going on. So I, Daisy got let back into the wild and the pressure trap is still sitting somewhere and that was the end of that. And it wrecks me because it was like that guy last year put a big foot in the freezer. So yeah. Uh, and What's held, that about? And held, it, held a bit this big conference and everybody's like, oh, it's actually going to happen. Why? You're trying to get credibility for this field and stunts like that don't really help you. 
like bank, I'm sure my money maker is like putting his head in his hands and crying his lamps out and big bobo hooting around him because it's just it doesn't do credibility any good especially as, as we were just saying if this video comes out or a video comes out that completely exists mm -hmm. they're going to go how about will the human right go to that page I told you about it spread out right now this <sighs> these last two are now about to destroy me completely similar to the story we're going to run later when people dressed no. like leprechauns these were leprechauns these were leprechauns right Okay. Except to the witnesses who actually saw the fight and said, no, it was just a bunch of ordinary people. Right. But this guy insists, no, they were wearing white tank tops and they were leprechauns and they bit the crap out of me. Oh, no, no. Do you remember the video came out a couple of years ago of the, what was, like a leprechaun, do you remember that, the wee weird thing mm -hmm. that danced out? Mm -hmm. How creepy was that? It's cool. It was creepy though, wasn't it? Yeah, it was, it was filmed in America. Did he have a white, a, white, a white tank top on? No, no, but he had a pointy hat. Well, was, ah, that's it then, it must be a leprechaun. <laughs> pointy, pointy hat and a white tank top, lovely. So the fashion sense has gone along with their height, <laughs> obviously. Right, now, number one. But number one is my all-time favourite. Now, this is a weird one because it's really? weird. Yeah, no, it's weird as it is, but it's actually from the 70s. It didn't happen this year. Right. But for some reason, the video was caught on and everybody's talking about the devil possessed my toaster. Okay. Okay, you've got this wee woman sitting at her kitchen table and an actual genuine news team in. Now, this is footage. This is footage. You can go okay. and watch this. Just, uh, what was it, Google Haunted Toaster? And this woman sitting at her kitchen table, obviously 70s, given by the decor and her dress and her hairstyle. They fly wallpaper and stuff. Yeah, and yeah. the news, the, the, the reporter interviewing her has like, he's like a huge big beard and big afro right okay so it's definitely 70s but for some reason the 70s always come back it's caught on now they're coming up now okay this woman shows claims that the devil lives in her toaster and she's sitting at night and she hears the devil say I am the devil I am Satan right she, <laughs> she makes toast and the toast comes out with the word Satan lives on it right now the toast is as black as your boot okay so there's no way she, she obviously like scraped it out but she's sitting and talking to this guy and this big flame shoots out of the toaster and she jumps back in horror. While she's talking to him? While she's talking to him. Okay. Holds up the toast to the camera. Look at my toast. And you're going, you wouldn't eat that toast even if I had dinner if Satan lives right now because you could bait it off walls. So turn the temperature down your, on your toaster. That's probably the reason. But the guy says to her, well, why do you not get rid of this, this toaster? He says, it makes lovely toast. Wow. That's going on the page. Oh, and that that is, is going on the page. So, it's so good. And you sit and have, it's one of them videos you watch, and you go, I have to watch that again. So you watch it again, and you just go on, that's mad. This one actually believes it. Her toaster talks to her, spits fire, and writes on her toast on the way out. That is superb. And a news crew came and interviewed it, and going, oh, this is a really, really good story for us. <laughs> I'd love to see the careers after that one. I bet you the beard worked. Well, I can assure you, no matter what, whatever comes over the next hour, twenty minutes, so on, that we're not going to top that. I on my top ten this week, this week, I or this year, I didn't have any paranormal stories. The Baltic Sea UFO almost made it in. Mm. Uh, I don't know if you're familiar with this story. Uh, it was late 20, 2011. Um, this guy was in the Baltic Ocean. He was in like a trawler or a fishing boat. He was photographing the bottom of the ocean, and he photographed what looked like the Millennium Falcon at the bottom of the ocean. Um, and he, he had no idea what it was but because it was only a wee trawler he couldn't go down it was way, way deep down he scheduled another dive to go down and see what it was uh, whenever he went out the Russian and the American Navy were it both wasn't there huh? it wasn't there no well, is that what it was no no it was there but the Russian and the American Navy were both in the area a meeting of heads and wouldn't let anybody near the area so he had to go home then he came back out again he dived down now there's photographs of it online whatever it is it's made of stone and it's massive it's like a big altar under the water uh, they don't know what it is it's made of rock mm. basically it looks when you look at it like there's a track as if it, something impacted the ground and skid across uh, although the, some scientists are saying that it's only it's basically just a big rock that is over thousands of years underwater has been pushed across uh, but they can't explain it but that almost made it in because it was a people thought it was a crash UFO it looked it, and I think because it looked like the Millennium Falcon it actually looked like the Millennium Falcon mm. lying at the bottom of the water and because of that it sparked up a lot of people's imagination so that almost made it in but it didn't See, yeah, it's, I was the same there's a lot of almost stories yeah uh, which didn't make it like a Jerusalem dumb UFO 
Yes. Which didn't appear just over Jerusalem. It was like, started to appear all over the world. I still, I... From